In this video, we're going to review how to use your V-Pulse cold compression DVT prevention machine. Inside your good box, you're going to have several different components. Your instruction manual, your main cold compression unit, your connecting hoses, your calf wraps for DVT prevention, your cold compression wrap for your surgery site, and two sets of frozen canisters. The night before your surgery, you want to make sure you fill up all four of these canisters and put them in the freezer to freeze so they're ready when you return home from surgery. To begin, simply twist the top off the machine. Fill water to the water line inside the machine, then place one set of frozen canisters inside. If you do not feel that the cold pad is cold enough, you can add ice to the machine to make it colder. Take the top, simply return the top to the top, turn, until you hear a click. Once you're in place and ready to begin, place the calf wraps onto your calf and place the cold compression wrap onto your knee, shoulder, low back, or other surgery site. First, take the one blue end and connect it to the machine. Take the other large blue end and connect to your cold compression pad. Then, take the single light blue end connect to the machine, take the other end and connect to your calf wraps. Now plug your machine in. When we plug the machine in, we're going to see a series of lights and hear a series of beeps. Once we hear those beeps, we know the machine is ready for use. There's our beep, we're now ready. The snowflake is for cold therapy, the calf image is for your calf wraps for DVT prevention, and the image with the circles, the blue, is for the compression at the cold site. Simply press each button to select which treatment you want, and then press play to begin. The machine will run until you press the stop button to end treatment. Please follow your doctor's guidelines on use and time of use for the DVT prevention and the cold and compression. Now that we know how to set up our V-Pulse, let's go to our patient and see how to apply the different wraps. For the universal wrap on the shoulder, we're going to use the long strap with the curve in it. This is gonna go under the armpit and connect via Velcro to the cold wrap, using a short strap to go under the arm to secure the cold pad to the shoulder. For the knee, we're going to use one of our long, narrow straps Velcro to the pad and wrap around the knee to secure the pad. If you need to secure it further, there are extra straps to further secure the knee pad. The calf wraps simply Velcro right around the lower leg. Now that we have our pads in place and we're connected, we're ready to begin treating and on our way to recovery.